Hi everyone. So today I would like to give you extra example regarding our topic in magnetic field. So I think you can have been introduced to magnetic field intensity which is represent in H and then we can find the H using this equation. I over 4 pi rho cos alpha 2 subtract with cos alpha 1 and then multiply with Magnet, uh, unit vector of pi. So the question is here, the positive AY axis is semi-infinite line with respect to origin, carries a filamentary current of 2 ampere in the negative AY direction. Assume it is part of large circuit, find H at 230 and 312, negative 4. So to solve this problem, it's better we draw, okay, the large circuit. I mean, to to know the, the coordinate or the locations of two z three zero. Okay, first we need to draw. Okay, this is a, this is axis, and then we have uh y axis. I think a bit I draw. Okay, like this. Okay, so this is our x here. This is our Z and then this is our Y. So, where is the coordinate? Okay. So, this is 2, this is 3 and then this is 0. So, apparently we can have the location is around here. Okay. So, this is our coordinate. Our point of interest. Okay. 2, 3, 0. So, after that, we can get the rho. Okay, rho is perpendicular from uh, current line to point of interest. So, y is our current line. So, current line, I will okay, put here. Okay, in negative direction, right? Okay, so this is our current line. So, then we can draw. row line okay perpendicular all right okay this is our row okay this is our row then we need angles okay angle 1 and angle 2 since this is infinite line okay semi infinite line so actually for row 2 okay actually it can be um Assume as zero or consider as zero, okay? Because this is very long, uh, I mean, angle, right? Okay, very small. This is long, uh, long line, so it only have a, a little bit of angle here. So this one can be considered as zero. Then another one, from point of interest, go to origin. So from here, okay, okay, this is our, okay, A2, uh, uh, alpha 2, and then this one is our alpha 1. So remember, if, uh, if alpha 1 is inside, okay, inside of the rectangle, the triangular here, and then alpha 2 must be outside. If alpha 2 inside, then alpha 1 must be outside okay the other one the other round okay now okay i would like to put here okay okay to easy to make uh, easy to calculate okay so this is our alpha one and then this is our alpha two alpha two here and then this is theta. Okay. I call, I call it theta. Why? Later on I will show you why. Okay. So this is our. Uh, I mean uh, our drawing for this case. Copy. And I put this here. Okay. So from the drawing. We can find row right. 
Okay, now for drawing, from drawing, we know that rho equal to 2, right? Okay, so I is given 2 ampere and then uh, unit vector of pi is equal to AL cross A rho. Okay, for AL is a um, current line. So our current line is AY but in negative direction. So we have here negative AY. A, Y, and then our row line is A, X, right? Okay, see, this is our row, and then this is our, is similar with A, X. So, we have here A, X, positive A, X, all right? So, solve this one using cross product. Okay, remember uh, how to solve A, Y here. And then we have a z here. So this one is a negative one. And then this one is one. Rest is zero. Okay. So solve this one. We get this one zero, right? Okay. And then we also have zero, right? And then another one we have zero. Minus, minus, 1. Is it? Okay, so now we have 1, A, Z. Okay, why A, Z? Because the value only show at the A, Z. Okay, so now we get A pi equal to 1, A, Z. So, for alpha 2, okay, since this is infinite line, alright, so alpha 2 become 0 degree. Okay, why? Because this is actually a very, I mean, this is long line so that the angle here should be almost zero. And so it, we cons we will consider it as zero. So for alpha one, so, eh. oh, sorry. So this is our alpha one actually. Eh? And this is not alpha two. Sorry, my mistake. Okay, so for alpha one, it's supposed to be outside here, right? So, I try to solve this one using 180 minus subtract with inverse tangent uh, minus of theta lah. So, since I al already put theta here. So, our theta is equal to inverse tangent. Theta, 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 theta. Inverse tangent. Of okay, since this is theta is here, so our ten our tangent is two over three, right? Okay, so now we get hundred eighty. Our theta is equal to three three point six nine, so it's equal to hundred forty six point. 3, 1. Okay. Then, all variable we find have been determined, so we can substitute to our equation. Okay. 4 pi pi, our row is 2, and then we have cos here, right? So our cost 2 is 0 and then our cost uh, 1 uh, alpha 1 is 4 6 point one, 1 and then our unit vector of pi is Z. So we get 0 0.145 Seven eight is it? What is the unit? MP over meter. So this is the answer. For H at three twelve negative four, okay. First we draw first to know where is the point of interest. 
Okay, so it's located here. Okay, so between Y and the point of interest, actually it has slope, alright? A little bit slope. So, for our row, okay, for our row, is actually is a hypotenuse of uh, between X and Z, right? Wait, huh? Okay. So, rho is, since this is equal, so what is the value? 3 squared, right? Okay, this is suppose at uh, at x we have three three square and then at z we have negative four square. So this is equal to five. So for our uh, unit vector pi, okay, we have neg for current line we have negative a y. Okay. Then for arrow, okay, it's quite tricky because it's the middle of X and Z. So to get uh, A, 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 Z, alright, to get A, Z, let me, okay, put. So for A, Z here, we can use cos theta equation, okay. Then we will we'll get, okay, this one for theta, we get 3 over 5. And then we have plus this one for AZ. Okay. For AZ, we can use uh, sin theta. Okay. And then it gives us negative uh, 4 over 5. Okay. This one, I think uh, you can uh, check or study. Okay. How it gets. But actually, the the uh, the point is uh, the angle. Uh, okay, the angle of uh, this uh, equation is at the attached at the current line. Okay, so that you can get this and this. Okay, so solve using cross product. Okay, cross product. Well, I have to show you one by one because I know. Um, this is quite uh, difficult to some of you, okay? Okay, so that we have get 3 over 5 and then we have negative 4 over 5. This one is 0. So that here, solve this and then we get, okay, what is this? This is um, oh, 4 over 5. Y, 0, right? And then we have 0. And then we have... Okay. 0, minus, minus, 3 over. So, we have... Okay. Now we have 4 over 5, AX. x plus um, 3 over 5 a z all right okay actually this one is a side oh sorry this one at the side not Okay, so as we know, this is a infinite line. So alpha two is equal to zero, and alpha one here. Okay, so alpha one equal to alpha one equal to uh, one hundred eighty minus theta. 
Okay, so this is our theta. Theta is equal to inverse uh, tangent of, okay, inverse tangent of, uh, here, 5 over 12. Alright. So, then we have 180 subtract 22.62, which equal to 157 equal 30... 38 or 36? I'm not sure. Uh, you. Okay. Then, after after get all the parameters, we can substitute to the oh, to the equation. To, okay. Okay. I is 2. Rho is 5. Okay. Alpha 2 is 0. Alpha 1 is 157.8. And then we have... Eh, not exact lah. This one lah. Okay, sorry. <laughs> okay, then... We get 0 0.048. Four eight nine seven for eight x plus zero point zero three six seven two is it? So this is our answer. Okay.